morning everybody. How's everybody doing today? Today is a glorious Wednesday and we're gonna have an awesome day today. And I wanted to ask a question about a common phrase that is used typically when uh, something not so great has happened to somebody and that somebody keeps thinking about it and won't stop talking about it. They tell them to just let it go. And I've never quite fully understood what that means. I mean, I get the vague general concept. Somebody who has let it go doesn't talk about it and doesn't dwell on it and doesn't allow the fact that that happened to interfere with the rest of their life. That's a vague concept. But what does it really mean just to let it go? Especially because I've, you know, seen the exact opposite where something really bad happens to somebody and that person just bounces right back. And everyone assumes, oh, well, you have to deal with this. Well, I'm sorry, I thought I was supposed to let it go. Like, if a loved one dies and uh, <clears throat> you're still, like, set in a place for them at dinner a year later, wouldn't you think that that person would need to let it go? Right? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. I would knock on wood, I know it's inevitable. But I do feel blessed that it hasn't happened yet. But then, um, okay, so, loved one dies, you're still sitting in place for them a year later, you haven't cleaned out their room, I, I don't know, what, whatever else you might do that somebody might come to you and say, look, you gotta move on, you gotta let them go. Okay. Well, what about the opposite? I mean, uh, I'm thinking specifically of a a short story that I think Stephen King wrote about a woman who was running and uh, she kind of bounced back after her husband passed away and spent a lot of time running and everyone said yeah hey, you're just using this running as a substitute for him no not really but okay but then they weren't you know saying pat a pat on the back congratulations you know you you really let him go and, uh, I guess I guess the idea is that there's an appropriate amount of time that you're supposed to hold on to somebody I'm not sure so I don't understand that much at all. Can't fathom, can't understand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but what if it wasn't even the death of a family member? What if it was just some like traumatic experience? What if um, somebody betrayed you uh, for whatever reason, in whatever way, uh, and you just couldn't let it go? I'm thinking now, of course, of uh, John Locke's character from Lost, uh, who just couldn't let his father go. He could have moved on with his life, could have had a happy life, but he couldn't. He had to dwell on it. So what does it mean to actually let something go? You know, and then, then of course, I'm thinking of uh, Top Gun. Goose is dead. Let it go. And he literally lets go of the dog tags, the manifestation of Goose's spirit, still holding on to the character, letting it go. And, of course, I know everyone and their mother is now thinking about that uh, bloody song from that bloody movie. Which, fortunately, I have not yet seen. But I heard that song and that was enough. I said, right, it's not for me. It is not for you. But the fact remains, uh, you're literally letting go of something. And now it is no longer there and it cannot bother you. But here's what I don't understand. Is that, and this is the way it was described to me. Imagine I have medicine that you need to take. I'm, I'm a doctor, I'm prescribing this medicine and I'm telling you this medicine will work. As long as, when you are taking it, you don't think about the dancing monkey. And it was described to me as, and the more you try and not think about it, the more the monkey dances. You, know, you ever try actively to forget about something? So it's got to be more than just forgetting about it, right? It's got to be your attitude when it comes up. Um, I suppose it might be if you were, I mean, let's imagine it, Goose was, uh, Goose was a student and the, uh, person who needed to let Goose go was a professor and, uh, there was a little, just a little plaque somewhere to Goose. Just always remember for whatever reason. The professor would have to let Goose go even though... Society dictates that that plaque stay on the wall, right? 
So Goose is going to have to not let that go. That's still going to be in his life all the time. So when they say let it go, you can't be referring to everything. I mean, this is not eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. You can't just wipe the brain of it entirely. Letting it, it go. I think we're getting somewhere here. Let it go. So we got to do two things. What is the let go part and what is it? So let go, I theorized before we started plowing into this, I theorized that let go meant to when it comes up to allow it to pass. A la the professor would have to walk past Goose's plaque and when he did, he would simply allow it to pass. He would not dwell on the fact that it was Goose who he loved so much. Right? So what is it? It is not Goose entirely, right? What is it? It is the pain? Let the pain go? Oh my goodness. This is problematic. Uh, yeah, some kind of like massive accident or something. I don't think I'm getting around this. This is potentially very bad. Yeah, I'm not getting around this. Crud. Uh, problem is I need to be someplace on the other side of that accident in the next 20 minutes or so, so this is just going to be fun to get around this. I probably can. This shouldn't be too bad. I think I'll just turn right right here and make my way up the, up the way. Anyway, what is it? It is the pain? Well, I mean, you don't go to, you don't go to the dentist office and he says, uh, hey, does that hurt? This is going to hurt. You're going to need to let it go. No, it gives you Novocaine, right? So you can't just let go of the pain. It's not like you can just go like this, right? Maybe some people can. I don't know. I don't think I can. Um, I'm intrigued here by what I'm supposed to do. Regardless, um, by letting it go, I imagine this means that you're... It sure does look like to me like they're recording this also. Check this out. You see the cameraman? So I'm intrigued by what they're doing here. All right, now they're letting people go off to the right. Good, 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 good. Sorry, this delay is probably very ob obnoxious to everybody, but that's the thing. Your commute gets interrupted sometimes. So, um... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm. So. Letting it go. We're finally getting back to letting it go. How do you let go of pain? I mean, you'd really just need to, like, pretend it wasn't there? Or do you let it hurt so bad, so much, you just let it all in that you become numb to it? I don't know. Do I need to be in that position? I guess the reason I'm really concerned about this is because sometimes I have been told that I need to let it go. But then there are other times when I tell it to other people that they need to let it go. But anytime I tell anybody else that, it's always in a humorous way. Well, in any event, it's something to really think about. What does it really mean to let it go? And if it is pain, how do you let pain go? How do you allow pain to pass? Any advice? Any experience? What are the books that you should read if you need to get around this? Who are the experts on this situation? And in any event... <laughs>